Hey, boys and girls, I'm gonna do a little overview of your biography report. So this is on Google Classroom, and you are gonna pick someone from American Heritage that you want to do this report on. Now, you can use the information from our book, but you can also look up more information with your parents, either on Google or maybe you, I know Aubrey has read um, a Who Was book on Amelia Earhart. So if you have extra, I know Matthew, uh, maybe if you want to do Neil Armstrong, you have more information in another book you probably already read. So you can use information from your book, from the chapter on that person. So if I wanted to do Booker T. Washington, I would put his name here. And then I would draw some kind of picture about Booker T. Washington. Maybe I'd draw Tuskegee on the front. And then I'd put my name right here, Mrs. Amber Cornthal, okay, on the bottom. And write it really neat and make sure I have capitals, everything. So that's my front page. Now these might be a little bit out of order, but uh, here it is. On the top of each page, you'll continue to write whoever it was that you picked. So if it was Booker T. Washington, you write Booker T. Washington was famous for. And then you check off what it was famous for. Now some of these people, we know that they were famous for sports and leadership. Maybe, or leadership is a big one um, because maybe either they led a college or they were um, in the military, they led a group, maybe they uh, were president. Okay. So leadership might be one of them. Sometimes it's other, maybe they invented something. So that's, you'll just check those boxes off. Now for portrait, this is a fun one because you don't have to draw it. If you want to, you can, but if let's say you're doing, um, Martin Luther King and you actually want the picture of him giving his, I can make a dream speech. I have a dream speech. If you can print it up at home, great. Print it up, glue it on there. Now place of birth, place of death, so for example, I knew that Bush, if you want to do President Bush, he was born in Texas. I would put the year he was born in Texas and he didn't have a death date. So I would put, he's still alive. Um, so if the person is still alive, then you would put still alive. If you know their date of death and in any, you know, maybe where they died, you can put that. Maybe they died in a war. Uh, maybe, oh, you know that Martin Luther King, he was actually assassinated, right? So depending on who it is, you're gonna put where they were born and uh, the date, the year. You don't have to put the date, the actual date, unless you know it. You could Google it so you could be clear. Then family members. So for example, we learned about um, Chappie James. I would say his parents had actually had, his dad was named, um, not Chappie, but Daniel James. I also know that his mom was named, I think it was Lily, I would look that up. His siblings, I know that he had 16 siblings. I wouldn't write all their names, but I have, he had 16 siblings. And his partner, what partner is, is who they're married to. So if it was a boy who was their wife, and sometimes maybe, maybe they actually had two because one of them died and then they got remarried. So that happened in a couple of our um, people's lives. And then any children that we know about. So you just write that out as a list. And then, thank you Fonda. Again, top of the page, you put their name again. Achievements. Now, sometimes their achievements are different than the, what they're remembered for. So they might have a lot more achievements, but you might not remember. That's not what they're big known for. So for example, I would take um, 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 Edison. That's a good one. I would take Thomas Edison. And the thing that he's most known for is probably perfecting the light bulb. But what else did he do? He did a lot more than that. And I would put the battery or maybe for achievements for... Teddy Roosevelt, he did a lot of things and I would list some of them here. You know, one of them is the Panama Canal, but what's he best known for? For me, I would say I probably knew him most for the national parks. So you kind of put that right here. Um, setbacks. A setback is something that was a challenge in their life. It could have been when they were a kid. It could have been when they were an adult. It could have been as they were trying to invent something, something that was a challenge for them that kind of set them back a little bit. Um, and then this one's fun. If their life was a movie, I would call the movie what? So since it's a movie title, you're just making a title of the movie. And since it's a title, it needs all caps. Okay. There's that one. And, and I don't want you to rush through this. So take time, maybe do like one page a, a day or something like that. Okay, this is a fun one. I love these. I'm gonna actually ask you about what some of the questions you are, you asked. So again, their name goes on the top. Then I would ask three questions. Maybe for Laura Ingalls, you would say, what was, what did it feel like? She, I mean, she was pretty good in her books, but what was it like growing up as a pioneer? Or maybe you would ask a fun, silly question to um, 
let's see, who could we ask a silly question to? George Washington Carver. Maybe you would say, what was your very favorite thing that you, uh, very favorite peanut use? Or what was your favorite peanut food, right? Um, something, something that applies to them that you don't know that's not talked about in our book that would be a fun question that you could ask if they were alive and in front of you. What impresses me most? So of all the things they did, what impressed you most? And maybe it's different for each of you because we all have different interests and maybe the Panama Canal impressed you and with Teddy Roosevelt because that was so epic that he did that and you know changed shipping and was able to uh, work with people to design that and you know work with different countries. Maybe that impressed you, but the national parks impressed me more. It depends, it's up to you. So what impresses you most about that person? Three facts about the person. First fact, any fact. It could be something um, just like a fun hobby that they had. Um, second fact, third fact. So you know what a fact is. Something that was true, a fact that you read about them. Okay, early life. Every single one of our chapters tells you a little bit about their early life. So give me one or two sentences about their early life. I'm gonna even let you, if you love illustrating, you can draw a picture of their early life and then just put a little caption there. Three character traits are, now a character trait is um, something about them. So I'm gonna give you one, like I, I'm thinking of Chappie James because we just did his, his chapter. And the thing that he learned from his mom, never quit. So, which means he persevered. He was determined. He was brave. Okay, so those are the kind of things that you put for character traits. And those don't have to be a paragraph. It could just be three words. Okay, their job. What do they do? Maybe for the Wright brothers, you would include their bike shop, right? What are some of the things they did? For George Bush, uh, he had an oil, he made an oil company. Okay, so that's something that you would put. What, what was a job that they had? Education and training. It's going to be different. Some of them went to different colleges. That's mentioned in our chapters. Some of them, like Laura Ingalls, you know, she read, but she was already teaching by the time she was a teenager. So she didn't go to college. So they're going to be different. What did the person that you are doing a biography, what was their education and training? So many of them went to Tuskegee or had something to do with that. Um, and maybe it was pilot training. Some of them went to flight school. That's part of their training. Okay, important life lessons. So again, you put their name on the top. What's an important life lesson that we can, that they learned or that we could learn from them? Mm, this is the big one. I really want you to like stop and think about this one. What's an important life lesson that they learned or that we can learn from them? Okay, five words that describe this person. Now, that's kind of like the character trait, but maybe it's a little bit different because you could, they could have been known for being short or maybe that you can describe what they looked like or um, it, rather than a character trait, you could say they, they were like silly or um, adventurous, something that, I mean, it still could be a character trait, but you can dig a little bit deeper. Okay, my final thoughts. Now, your final thoughts don't have to be necessarily positive about the person. You could say, you know, if my final thoughts for Amelia Earhart is that I wouldn't wanna do what she did. You know, she was resilient, she was brave, she was adventurous. Those are things I like about her. But I, my final thoughts for Amelia Earhart is that I'm really sad that she didn't make it. And I also wouldn't have chosen the things that she did, right? My story would be different from her. So I would write that. I would say, I would never have braved that. Um, that wouldn't have been my thing. And I'm sad that she didn't make it. And then that, that could be my final thoughts. And resources you used. If you just used your book, you're just gonna say, I used my book and I looked up a couple of things on the internet. Great. If you did read another book, just show that you did that. And so you give credit for your information. Don't make anything up. You have to get it from somewhere. And that is it, boys and girls. So do your very best. If you're unsure, your parents can actually watch this video too. And um, you can always call me, you can email me, you can text me and say, Mrs. Cornthal, I'm not quite sure what to do on this page. Or do you agree with this? Or maybe even if you need an idea, just like you'd raise your hand in class. Hi, Abigail. You can, you can call me and say, do you have an idea for this person, Mr. Scornthal? I can't think of another description for them. Or uh, I can't think of another question to ask. Can you help me? I'm here. So definitely 
It's like raising your hand in class. You can call me. That's like raising your hand. Okay. Um, I, we're going to share these on, on Zoom.